More women are running for office in the midterms this year than ever before. And the boys in Congress are super excited. As one congressman put it, quote, hot diggity dog, fresh meat, crack me a beer and bring them on, unquote. Men in Congress say the pickings have been slim in the Capitol these days, and they're looking forward to getting in some new talent after the next election. Women who won't complain about every little thing, like being chased around a desk now and then, or livening up an otherwise boring trip in an elevator with a little massage. As Senator Woke T. Grotesque from New York put it, quote, It's about time more women held federal office, especially the young ones with those spiky heels they wear. The women in Congress now make a federal case out of everything. If you so much as compliment them on their hair, they start screaming at you to take your hands off their breasts. But what kind of man would grab a woman's breasts without complimenting her hair first? Unquote. In a hyper-divided political atmosphere, the large number of women running for office is creating a refreshingly bipartisan stir. Republican and Democrat men alike agree that this could change the way elections are run in America, hopefully by adding a bikini competition. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Clavin, and this is The Andrew Clavin Show. I feel hunky-dunky, life is tickety-boo. Birds are winging, also singing, hunky dunky Ship-shaped, ipsy-topsy, the world is a bitty zing. It's a wonderful day, hurrah, hooray! It makes me want to sing. Oh, hurrah, hooray!